Mm -hmm. So, I mean, were you like, were you cheating on it? What's going on now? Mm -hmm. Who that is? Man, that's Dro. Yeah. Man, what's up, man? What's see, up, look, Dro? Out here in the street, real quick, Dro. I got a channel on YouTube, man. I see you doing your thing. Are you going to be on Country Wayne Skits anytime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm already on there. I see you was on there, but I seen they, they trying to get you out or whatnot. Yeah, yeah, they're trying to get me out of jail. Okay, man. And let us interview, man. Keep going, keep doing your thing. Thank man. I just came from Rice Street, man. I was uh. And how did you find out that she cheated? Um, the, the dude was incarcerated with me. He, he, me, and him got to fighting in the jail. How? Like, how did he? Did he he was. Up she was writing time? letters, and, and, and he, he pulled me up to her side and said, "Who is this?" Writing me a letter, and I said, "That's my baby, mom's." And he was like, "What's up, YouTube? I have the best trainer in Atlanta." and possibly the world. Hit him up on Instagram, at Katie with the muscle. Now back to the content. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews, out here with another one. So we got my man out here today. How you doing today, man? Okay, I'm doing okay. All right, all right. <laughs> I love the energy. All right, so are you homeless? Yeah, yeah, I'm homeless. I'm at uh, Georgia Works. I get it, I get it. So yeah. how old are you? I'm 55 years old. 55, and so how long have you been homeless? I've been homeless for six months. Six months? What was it that happened six months ago that caused you to become homeless? Me and my sister got in an argument and she put me out on the street. I was new in Georgia. I'm from, I'm from New York, from Brooklyn, Flatbush. And my sister put me out when she when I moved down here and I came homeless. Okay, so that, your sister lives down here? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, why did she put you out? Because she was money hungry. And she wanted more money and I couldn't afford it. I just came from incarceration. I was on probation and she was trying to take all my money. So. She How much me, money did she want? She wants six hundred fifty dollars just to sleep on a mattress in the living room. Six fifty? Yeah, six fifty. This is your biological sister? Yes, she's my biological sister. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Um, we'll get back to that. So, do you have any kids? Yeah, I got three kids. Three kids. How old is the oldest? How young is the youngest? Twenty-eight, twenty-eight, twenty-eight. My son is a police officer in Brooklyn. My daughter, she is in the military, in the Air Force, and my son in the Army. Um, same mom or different moms? Different moms. Uh, two different moms or three different moms? Three different moms. Okay, so I guess we call those ghetto twins, right? So, <laughs> yeah, ghetto. <laughs> we ghetto. Call those ghetto twins, yeah, right? Ghetto. So basically, you was having three at the same time. Yes. Oh, you was a wild boy. Yeah, I was a player back then. You shooting like, up all the clubs. You know, yeah, yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, all right. So, um, we we gonna get back to that. Have you ever been married? Never been married Never before. Been married. Okay, Always okay. looking forward to getting married. Okay, so there was one particular year that you just went crazy and just shot up the club and were okay. So um, I see the, the the teardrops, right? Yeah. Did we do any prison time? Yeah, I did. I did fifteen years for uh, where I used to carry guns and um, I used to go to st where was somebody make me mad. I used to take my pistol and I used to stick it to his face and man get out of my face and stuff. Now I got older, I did my time, and, and, and now I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to get away from all the madness and trying to grow. It ain't, it ain't about killing each other, it's about growing. It, it, have you ever killed? Not, never killed. So why do you have the teardrop tattoo? The teardrop is, is for my twin. My, one of my twin died. My so twin. you have a twin? Yes, I do. Okay, okay. Um, what age did your twin die? Age of uh, 42. 42? I'm sorry to hear about that, man. What's the other teardrop for? The other teardrop is my mama. Okay. Uh, the teardrops, people get the teardrops messed up. When you shade in, you kill somebody. When you, when, when, when um, you not, don't got shade in, that means the death. Okay. When you don't shave the end. When you shade in, if it's dark and you shade in, that means you kill somebody. But when you don't shade in, that means somebody in your family died or somebody that you care uh, about. That okay. you care about. That's what, that's what it means. So. You know, as far as it goes, man, did you do 15 years just behind a gun possession charge? Yes. Whew. Lord. What the New York laws or something else, boy? Yeah. It's something else. That's a long time, man, yeah. just, for, just for possessing a, a pistol. And then I moved Then I moved to Atlanta, and, and I got a proof of incarceration in Atlanta. I just came home today. Today is, is I'm at Georgia where I just came home today. You, you, what do you I, mean you just got out of where? Today? I just came from Rice Street. 901 Rice Street. Okay, so you, you was at Rice Street? Yeah. You, how, how'd you end up at Rice Street? Uh, strangulation. Somebody stole my phone on the model police station, $300 phone. Uh, and, and they said I took a rope and tried to strangle him with it, but I didn't strangle him with it. He lived, and they locked me up for eight months in, down there at Rice Street. 
Ooh, wait, what was the charge? Uh, aggravated strangulation. Ugh. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So yeah, I mean, let's let's um let's dive into some of this stuff. So okay. where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn, Flatbush. Hey man, Flatbush. Shout out, y'all. Hold it, y'all. Shout out to man. Flatbush. Shout out, right on my name, Flatbush, man. Brooklyn. Oh, hey man, Brooklyn. Look at my boy Reverend. Brooklyn, name, man. Yes, Brooklyn sir. never die. Hey man. And why? Yes, sir. I love it. I love it. All right, man. And so growing up in Brooklyn, man, did you have both mom and dad in the household? Yeah, no, I, I was uh, we, we I adopted because my parents was like they was alcoholic and my. Uh, parents, they was fighting each other, bruising each other. You know, my mom died age of, when I was like eight years old, seven years old. I was in a in a foster home when I was seven years old. How did she die? She died because uh, her husband was beating on her, drinking, beating. She was beaten to death, you know, by my dad. So they, they took all the kids. My mom had 15 kids. And they took, kids? yeah, she had 15 kids. Where they, were you in the birth order? I, I'm like the fourth, fourth one. Oh, wow. Me and my twin. Okay. Wow. Oof. Okay. Um, was your mom fair skinned like you? Yes. Okay. Okay. So she was a little red thing out here. <laughs> yeah. Kinda, yeah, she uh, was. Just kind of doing her thing, living life. All right. All right. Um, and what about your dad? Your biological dad? Is he my dad died at age of 63. I was in Job Corps in Maryland, and uh, my dad passed away when I graduated from Job Corps. Okay. I'm sorry to hear about that. Um, so who, who raised you? Well, particularly my stepdad from Brooklyn, my stepdad, my stepmother, my mother passed away. My stepmother, uh, she used to work at. Uh, so when you say step, like I'm, I'm confused because stepmom who raised me adopted my, because my parents really didn't take care of me. Right. So, so, so not step, but more adopted. Mom. Adopted mom. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay. Stepmom means that she was with your biological yeah. dad back then. Okay. She, so this, this is your, this is your adopted mom. Mom, right? And your adopted dad. Dad, right? Okay, did all of your siblings go to the same place or were y'all split up? We split up. They took all us away. Okay, uh, but were you with your twin at least? Yeah, me and my twin was together. Okay, y'all were together. Okay. So, I mean, growing up, would you say that you had like a fairly normal childhood? No, I really didn't have a childhood because my parents was alcoholic and my mom was alcoholic. And we used to eat out of the garbage can when I was young in New York. We used to eat out of the garbage can. I was real homeless in New York too. You know what I mean? Okay. So, I mean, did you, like, go to high school or anything like that? Yeah, I went to PL 13, PL 6. Did you graduate? I graduated. Okay, okay. Any college after that? No college. Just no went college. to Job Corps. After, after high school, I went to Job Corps. Okay. So, I mean, you know, were you, like, into street activity a lot? I was in school. I was, I was selling drugs at age of, uh, in New York. I was selling drugs at age of 17. I was selling keys um, in New York. You know what I mean? And I never got arrested for drugs. A lot of my partners are dead for selling drugs. Uh, my best friend, high school friend, died. Got caught up. And, you say you was moving keys, man? Yeah, I'm moving keys. I was like a, uh, what do you call it, a, a, a mover. I was moving, a transporter. I was a transporting keys. Okay, so you were transporting state, them. Transporting to another. like your keys. No, nah, okay, you were transporting. The, I was getting the, paid you for You were that guy. Okay, okay, okay. I was getting paid for it. Okay, I mean, so at, at, the, at your highest, like, income levels, right? Yeah. How was you living? Like, how much money at your highest levels for any three month consistent period of time? How much money were you averaging a week or a month? Well, hustling? Really, yeah. Well, I would usually get like $5,000 a week. That's hustling money. Okay. But I didn't know what to do with the hustling money. I bought cars, been with plenty of women, uh, 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 money laundry. Uh, is that uh, like around the time when you had your kids? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so you, you were doing your thing and you had all these different women and you was a red guy yourself. So you was out here light skinned, just kind of doing your thing. Right? Doing my thing, right. <laughs> yeah, I was just doing my thing, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I, mean, I got I, older there. Were you in relationships with any of those ladies? Yeah, I was in certain relationships with certain ladies. Well, but, I mean the mothers of your kids. Yes, yes. I was in certain. I was ready to get married and things happened. And, and so I mean, were you like, were you cheating on it? What's going on now? Who that is, man? That's Dro. Man, what's up, man? What's See, up, Dro? Out here in the street, real quick, Dro. I got a channel on YouTube, man. I got about eighty thousand subscribers. I see you doing your thing. Are you gonna be on Country Way Skits anytime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm already on there. I see you was on there, but I see they they trying to get you out or whatnot. Yeah, yeah, they're trying to get me out of jail. Okay, man. So hey, we have a street interview, man. Keep going, keep doing your thing. Thing, man. I just came from Rush Street, man. I was uh. 
Look, look, uh, what's his name? Little baby. Oh, look, we talking about little baby. Little baby. Yeah. yeah, I was locked up with all of them. You talking about Rallo? Yeah, Rallo. I was locked up with all of them down Rice Street. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. All right, man. Quick interruption, man. Quick interruption, man. So, all right. So, bottom line, though. Um, so, as far as these ladies go, like, were you like in? So, were you in a relationship with either one of them? Well, I was in a relationship. Sex with I was no, nah, I was in a relationship with one of the, one of my baby moms. She was from Connecticut, and then my other baby mom from Jersey. And they and started so fighting were, each other. You so were cheating on the one from Connecticut. Yes, I was cheating on all of them, but uh, I, I, I was did doing. Did you get caught cheating, or did they find out after well, she, they had baby? Well, my baby mom got caught cheating, and I started cheating, and that's you know, what you happened. You say you caught your baby mom cheating? cheating yeah, she was the cheating. The one from Connecticut. Yeah. She was cheating on me with a young dude. And then my other baby mom from Jersey, I was trying to get married. And then they just stopped fighting each other. I bought an engagement ring with the one in Connecticut. And it didn't you bought work an out. engagement ring after she cheated? Yeah, I bought her engagement ring because she had my beautiful daughter. You know what I mean? So I wanted to marry her. My mom told me don't marry her. And so, and then everything went behind heels. And I started getting incarcerated again. And How did you find out that she cheated? Um, the, the dude was incarcerated with me. He, me and him got to fighting in the jail. How? Like, how did he? Did he, he was. Up she was writing time? letters, and, and, and he, he pulled me up to the side and said, "Who is this?" Writing me a letter, and I said, "That's my baby mom's." And he was like, "I'm gonna be with her." So that's how I found out. So she chose up on him. Yeah, she chose. Was on she him. writing you letters? No, nah, she wasn't writing me letters. She was <laughs> so, writing him letters. <laughs> so then, I mean, why did you then turn around and give her a ring and? want to marry her because i was in love at that time i was in love with my baby moms at that time okay but you had two other baby moms yes i had two but other but i wasn't in love with them yeah you know i mean we, it was a sex thing yeah you know i mean i get it i get it i get it okay all right um so you got three kids when was the last time you talked to them i talked to my uh daughter on facebook and she she and uh in Puerto Rico. Right, but when was that? That was like three years ago. Three years? She says if what I get about the other ones? When was the last time you talked to them? I talked to one of my son is a police in New York. I talked to him about six months ago. So like three years ago, like why has it been so long? Because I kept getting incarcerated, messing with my real family down here in Atlanta. So I mean, growing up, as they were growing up, were you active and present in their life, or were you pretty much kind of like? A I was out them life. I, I'm out of my kids' life. I'm trying to work it out so I can get back in my kids' life. So, I mean, you know, in hindsight, just looking back on that, do you think that they missed you growing up? Yes, they missed me growing up. But uh, as of being a dad, I wouldn't know how. As of being a dad, I wouldn't know how to react to my kids because I never been around my kids. I left my kids at the age of three years old. So I wouldn't know how to show them that dead love. How does that make you feel? It, it, it kind of hurt me a little bit. You know what I mean? It kind of hurt me because I made kids and I didn't take care of them. So, I mean, if they were to happen to come across this video on YouTube, um, do you have a message for them? Do you have anything? That I love you kids. If, if, if I come across my kids on YouTube, I love y'all, man. I just want to be a father figure and saying that I, that I, that you going to be in my life, that y'all kids going to be in my life. I accept you in my life. I apologize that I got incarcerated. Won't happen again. I'm gonna do better. I'm out. I'm I'm, I'm gonna just do better. You know what I mean, as a father figure. Okay. Okay. All right, man. Well, listen. We really appreciate you taking the time answering all of our questions. No problem. Um, if anybody out there wanted to reach out, help, or donate, do you have a way they could do that? Do you have social media, cash app, anything like that? Um, you can uh. You can do cash. You can do charm you got your cash right here. Card. Oh, you got charm? Yeah. Uh, what's your charm info? Right there. David Scott? Yeah. Okay, okay. Got my time info. It I don't was, know if we need all that okay. up on the screen. I might uh -huh. blur that out. Mm -hmm. All right, so bottom line, though, is that they can hit you up on charm. Yeah. Okay, man. Well, listen, we really appreciate you. We definitely wish nothing but the best out here, all right? No problem. I'm going to do the best it, I can. You too. Guy. Yes, sir.